guys, it's Jennifer from Genuine Teaching and welcome to my very first video of 2021. As you can tell in the background, it is still the holiday season. Today is actually December 28th, but I wanted to get a head start on my book that I'm going to start reading because you don't need to wait until the new year to start something new. So I finished my latest book, which was The Great Gatsby, and today I needed another book and that's what this whole video is about so before i get into the book i just kind of want to tell you what this video is all about as you can tell by the title it is a reading vlog now you might be thinking what is a reading vlog so if you are a fan of booktube i absolutely love booktube i love books and i have to say 2020 was definitely my year to get back into reading I was really into books about five years ago in 2015, I guess now six years ago, and I really liked books. I, you better not jump on the couch. You cannot go on the couch, Pippin. No going on the couch. In 2015, I really got into reading. Now, I only read a couple of books that year, but for me, that was really reading a lot. Back then I feel like I was more of a book collector and not necessarily book reader. So it was just really nice when I was able to finish a book. And I had a bookshelf full of books that I never read or read part of or never finished. And this book series, Harry Potter, I'm starting with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I have read books one through four tons of times so many times because every time I want to sit down and read the series I start with book number one and then I get so many books through and then I just stop for a long time and then years go on and I'm like I want to read Harry Potter again but I always have to start with book number one so that's where this reading blog comes in so like I was saying in 2020 I really got into reading books I read 25 books in 2020, so I wanted to read at least, on average, two books per month, and I definitely met that goal. I still want to keep it about 24 books a year because it's not so overwhelming. I don't count any picture books or chapter books that I read to my students unless I'm reading it for the first time myself and then reading it to my students, but I, I really want to incorporate some more reading and books into my YouTube channel. Now, this is not going to turn into a booktube channel, but I also feel like my teaching vlogs can get pretty repetitive. Now, when I'm in person teaching with students, I cannot film during the day for obvious reasons because I'm teaching. So I feel like you guys don't get a lot of vlogs from me, or if you do, it's before and after contract time. It's a little different when I am virtual because we have a lot more prep time, and it's really easy to just set up the camera before I start teaching, let it just record while I'm teaching. I kind of just ignore the camera, then stop recording when I'm done teaching. And then on the weekend is when I do all my editing, just edit out the parts that are kind of boring and just show you the highlights of online teaching. That's easy because like I said, I just set it up before and after I'm done teaching and you can't hear my kids, especially because I edit a lot of that stuff out. We have one more week of virtual teaching as far as we know. It could be more I don't I really don't know but as far as we know we have one more week and then I'm back into in-person teaching and I just I want to make sure that I'm still giving you guys quality content so that's why I decided to start some reading vlogs now most likely they're going to be like middle grade and picture books things that kind of go along with teaching related stuff like my favorite book this year that I read is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo not sure if I would do like a reading vlog for a book like that just because it's not really teaching related and even though I don't need to do things teaching related on this channel I just feel like Harry Potter is such a good book to do a reading vlog for because it's a middle grade book and children read this book so what is my goal for 2021 my goal is to read all seven Harry Potter books by the end of the year I want to read one Harry Potter book every single month on average so I'm starting with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because it's the very first book and I thought it would be fun to do a reading blog. So reading blogs, if you guys don't know, I just kind of do whatever I want. I can be creative with it. I can film Harry Potter related things. I have a couple ideas 
that I want to do for some of the other books, but basically I sit and I read and then I tell you my thoughts on the book or whatever I want. So that is the introduction, <laughs> very long introduction to this video. So let's go ahead and start reading. I actually picked this book up like a month or so ago. I was reading a bunch of October spooky books and I finished that and it was between Halloween and Christmas and I wasn't ready to read Christmas books yet. So I picked up Harry Potter. So I'm 70 page pages in. So for this reading vlog, I'm starting on page 70 and then it has 308 pages in here. So I guess I will just document my thoughts of this book. I love this book. It's so magical. It's probably one of my favorites just because it has so many memories, but I also like when Harry Potter gets really dark. So let's read. <laughs> to start reading this book because are you a reader if you've never read Harry Potter? I think you are. You can literally read whatever book, whatever genre, whatever type of book, graphic novel, magazine, whatever, your reader that you want. But I love this series so much. Like, how come I haven't read it yet? Tuesday and I officially forgot what day it was this morning. So I did a little bit of reading yesterday. If you can't tell, it snowed last night. It's melted pretty fast. I did a little bit more reading yesterday. I'm on page 113 and I forgot how much I loved these books. There's so much more detail in the books, like things that happen in the books that don't happen in the movies. Fun fact. There was a point in time where I thought I had like a bad copy of a DVD and that they deleted a scene that I remember so vividly that I was like, no, that scene is in the movie. Nope, it's not. It was literally just in the book and I know these characters so well that I was able to picture it almost exactly. That's why I feel like when I read these books, I literally feel like I'm watching the movie and even in the scenes, that aren't in the movie. I can picture them perfectly just because the writing is amazing. So I'm going to continue reading some more today and probably curl up with a cup of tea and a blanket because it's chilly outside. which is chapter seven. And it says here 
that the sorting is a very important ceremony because while you are here, your house will be something like your family within Hogwarts. You will have classes with the rest of your house, sleep in your house dormitory, and spend free time in your house common room. Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy are in two separate houses, Gryffindor and Slytherin, but they have classes together. But it says in here that you will have classes with the rest of your house. Am I missing something? Because they're in classes together. I'm so confused. So I am almost halfway through this book, which is crazy because I think I might even finish this book before 2021 even begins because I have like two and a half days left of 2020 and my goal was to read one Harry Potter book a month on top of other books, of course. Um, I just bought some books on Amazon for to be exact, but I used a gift card that I got for Christmas. So I technically didn't break my no spend until January on books. Anyway, so I answered my own question about them going to classes with other people in other houses. So for example, they went to a double potions class and it was Gryffindor and Slytherin in class together. So that's probably how Malfoy and Harry Potter are in the same class sometimes. Maybe they just double up. Maybe there's not enough subs. <laughs> Anyways, um, right now I'm actually watching BookTube and I just finished eating lunch, but I'm just kind of chilling out here. Thoroughly enjoying winter break, literally in PJs all day and it's been amazing. So I'm gonna continue watching BookTube and then read some more of Harry Potter. Whew. So update on reading. I am definitely past the halfway mark. I am on chapter 10 and I am about to start the chapter Halloween, which is one of my very favorite chapters. It's where Hermione finds the troll in the bathroom. And I just love it because that's the start of Harry and Ron and Hermione's friendship and I I absolutely love it. But I thought of a tip because a lot of people ask me how I fit things in or balance things in my life and just talking specifically about books is I always have my book around me no matter what I'm doing. I will sit down and read a chapter and then go do something else. So for example, yesterday I was doing laundry. So I put a load of laundry in, I read a chapter, and then I go and do something else. Or for example, today when I'm being kind of lazy, no shame, it is winter break, but right now I'm watching YouTube. And instead of just sitting around watching YouTube all day, which I do very often. After a video, I will read a chapter or I will read 10 pages of a book. It just depends on if the chapters are really long, but I find that it's a whole lot easier to read a chapter every time I sit down to kind of just keep myself going. Now, sometimes I get into modes where I can just like sit down and read for hours and there's other times where like I'm busy. So that's how I fit it in. Also, if you really want to get into reading, just reading a chapter a night before bed can be really helpful too. I have a hard time reading in bed at night because I fall asleep so easily and I fall asleep really early because I wake up early. So I don't get a ton of reading done before bed and so I really like to take advantage of my weekends and breaks like this to get more reading done. But yes, I definitely suggest breaking a book down by chapters if you guys have had any trouble reading books and getting through them. Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday, December 30th. I am on page 194 of the Sorcerer's Stone. I almost said the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> no, not there yet. But um, I've really been loving it. Obviously, I've read it million times before and watch the movie a million times but the same thing holds true like scenes that are not in the movie like i can picture them perfectly in the book something i've also been doing is listening to the soundtrack as i'm reading and it's like perfect i love when 
the chapters match up to the song. Like I was reading the Quidditch match during the Quidditch song and it like added even more to the book. So you should try that out. It was really fun. Um, so I'm about 62% of the way done with the book. Um, my goal was to read one of these every single month in 2021 and I feel like I'm doing a good job. I feel like if I keep reading at this pace, as you can see, the top of the book is how much I have left. But um, I feel like I can finish this before January. I do plan on reading like different books in between the Harry Potter books, but maybe like starting every single month with the Harry Potter book. So that's exciting. I'm just gonna do like more reading, taking down Christmas today. That's my office one. But yeah, ready to ring in the new year with like a fresh start. Is anyone else like that? Like I'm in no rush to take down Christmas just because it's a lot of work. But I also really like having my Christmas stuff put away by New Year's Day. Um, I also really like to clean the house. Not only during the new year, but I like to do it like right when I go back to work. And it's just nice coming home from work. And again, speaking of work, we have one week of virtual learning when we come back if it's not being pushed back. And some also more exciting news is, first of all, here's Pippin. He's so cute in his sweater. That was a good shake. We're supposed to be getting the vaccine sometime in January for teachers. So that's really exciting. But yeah, I'm going to continue reading Harry Potter and snuggle with my Pippin. Happy New Year's Eve. I have one chapter left of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And I'm very proud of myself because I wanted to read one Harry Potter book every single month on top of other books. And I'm going to finish this before January even starts, which is a really great start. However, I'm kind of going to cheat. And I'm not going to put it in my Goodreads until tomorrow because I do want this to count for my first read of the year. We can do that, right? Anyways, so I'm going to finish reading this and I'm super excited. So I just finished the book Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and I absolutely love it. It's a five out of five. I've reread this book like a million and one times and probably going to rewatch the movie even though I watched it like a month ago and I'm just super excited. I'm probably going to take a little break from Harry Potter and read some of my other books. I do have four books. I used a gift card though. I do have four books coming in from Amazon on Sunday, so I'm excited to read those. Don't think I'm going to do a reading vlog for those just because I don't know how like reading and books are going to fit in on this channel. Just know that there's going to be a whole lot of it because like that bookshelf right there, that's just books for school, like for my students, my read alouds. And yeah, so I'm definitely going to be sharing a whole lot in here. Now that I'm done, reading Harry Potter. Let's go ahead and take the sorting hat quiz. Let's see if I'm still a Hufflepuff. So I did this quiz a few years ago on Pottermore. And I don't think it's on Pottermore anymore. So it looks like wizardingworld.com and I'm going to make an account and then take my quiz. Ah, I'm nervous. Okay. Discover your house. Start the sorting ceremony. Dawn or dusk? Dusk for sure. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? The piano, the drum, the violin, the trumpet. The piano. You and two friends need to cross a bridge guarded by a river troll who insists on fighting one of you before he will let all of you pass Do you. Volunteer to fight, attempt to confuse the troll into letting all three of you pass without fighting, suggest that all of you should fight without telling the troll, suggest drawing lots to decide which of you will fight. Um, I will try to confuse the troll because I don't want to be fighting. Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ignorant, selfish, ordinary, cowardly? Self 
selfish though, I guess. The troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, or tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the Trolls Club if you could? A nearly perfect cure for dragon pops. Student records going back a thousand years. A mysterious handwritten book full of strange rooms. Mm, let's see. So I picked cure for the dragon pox, student records, and then the book. Which of the following would you most like to study? Mer people, centaurs, werewolves, vampires, goblins, trolls, ghosts. Mer people? If you are attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Oh, an owl. Tawny owl, for sure. White or black? Black. The sorting hat is ready to make its decision. I'm a Hufflepuff. Dedication, patience, loyalty. Oh, that's so exciting! And these are my fellow Hufflepuffs. It's a good thing that I still am a Hufflepuff because I've been displaying this proudly in my office for years. So that's super exciting. Okay, so I think it'd be really fun to do some sort of Harry Potter themed challenge during every single one of my reading vlogs. I just saved my picture. And this one was the sorting quiz. I had some other ideas like to make pumpkin pastries or to make like hanging keys. I've always wanted to have hanging keys with wings for my classroom. But I think next book, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it a secret until then. One more thing before I end this video. A couple weeks ago, I did my YouTube Secret Santa and I said that every comment I would donate 25 cents to the charity that I chose. And the charity that I chose is savethechildren.org. So right now I am going to that video to see how many comments it got. And it got 160 comments. So I'm going to cheat and use my calculator. So 160 comments times 25 cents per comment is $40. So I will be donating $40 to savethechildren.org. And thank you guys so much for commenting on that video. Your comments definitely added a whole lot of money to that donation. So thank you so much. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my very first video of 2021. And my very first reading vlog. We'll see how many more we do of this. So again, thank you for watching. Until next time, happy teaching. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.